Hello there, participants of the Contouris Pairs General Meeting. Uh, my name is Vyacheslav Shkipirv. I am the PhD candidate from the Tallinn University of Technology. And the topic of my presentation is a uh, MIMO reinforcement learning based approach for frequency support and microgrids with high renewable energy penetration. So there is a short presentation of the po poster type. And uh, background of the project is the aim where we want to increase the integration of renewable energy sources uh, in isolated microgrid from 12 to 50 percent. As the solution of this uh, step, we expected to extend the CISO approach of the phones with learning to the MIMO architecture. And uh, actually we expect to increase the robustness of the proposed reinforcement learning based control in scenarios with high integration of renewable energy sources. Uh, so there's uh, a short illustration of the solution proposed in the paper. So we have the microgrid where we made some changes of the isolated architecture. So we decide the additional loop um, so we have the simultaneous control of the virtual inertia and the renewable energy power flow. And from the right side of the slide, you can see the proposed frequency support control in the paper. So we have uh, the multi-loop system where we have uh, five inputs actually and the two outputs. First one is obviously the extension of the uh, renewable energy source control and we have also the original virtual inertia control and uh, as the solution of the proposed controller we have extended reinforcement learning controller so in this case we have uh, the same number of inputs and the same number of outputs <coughs> But the approach of the training was exactly the same, which was proposed in the previous uh, my work. And uh, you can look at the numerical results of these uh, changes. So just look at the comparison of the double loop control and the single loop control reinforcement learning based controller. So you can see that uh, with uh, various scenarios, we have some uh, minor changes, but at the same time we have uh, the clear difference between the the original approach and the modified approach, which is implemented as double loop. And uh, we can see that um, decreased inertia actually does not have such a serious uh, effect for the stability of both approaches. And if you want to look at the more precise examples of the difference between two approaches, so we can look at the right uh, table. So we decide to compare the different scenarios and calculate the root mean square error, mean absolute error and integral absolute error of both approaches. As you can see, it's without option, the double loop approach was much better than the original architecture. As the conclusion and discussions, we want to say that the uh, double loop architecture is much better for the microgrid with high penetration of renewable energy sources. And uh, for the future, we expect to implement the more advanced energy storage uh, for the balance of the microgrid. But uh, we also expect to use the more extended uh, architecture of the multi-loop reinforcement learning controller. So thank you for attention.